president. Oh, bloody hell, go and bugger off. I'm a talking to Auntie Margaret here who wants to speak to our Beryl. Hold up a bit, I'll put you on. Hello? Hello, <laughs> is it? It's Auntie Bloody Margaret. From the Priory. And I has my woofed. Fault you have run out of bloody milk, is it? I'm, I can't come. Margaret, I can't come now. I'm about to film in this treasure trove. Yes, treasure trove. Oh, look. The owners are calling for me. I've, I've got to go. If, I can, if I've got time to pick up your milk, I'll pick it up. But I'm going now because I've got to do this filming. All right. Ta ra, ta ra. I tell you where thou are found at some eh? At some awkward bloody times, thou are. Well, anyway, let's get on to what we are doing here today, shall we? I told you I was going out, roving reporting. And here we am. I'm in this veritable tre treasure trove. You won't believe the stuff that's in here. I'm going to take you around now to show you a few of the things. Take you back to the old black country. All these things and from the local area. And I'll tell you something, there's about as much here as the Black Country Museum. I'm not kidding you. Should we take your hand then? Should we have a go and have a look, shall us? Come on then. Now, we we're starting here. This is just the start on it. I mean, look at this, folks. Hey? How heavy did he say the in one? 20 stewan for these, these brass dolphins here. And that monkey up there. He weighs six stone. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic, eh? Right? Look at the stuff here. And this here, look, remember these, the old penny arcades? Remember them? Aye. Cigarette machine here, five for two pence. Five cigarettes for two pence. I tell you, it takes you back in here. It's absolutely fantastic. This is a private collection. One fella collected all this. He don't want to come on camera. Because, you know, he wants he, he don't want his identity known, obviously. I mean, he's got so much stuff in here. We don't want to put him target to anything. So, I by disclosing my location, but I can assure you, we're in the art of the black country. We're been. So, if you have a look at this here, he's got... Eh? Fuss Motorola. Telephone. Look at this. Eh? Look at this lot, what he's got here. Absolutely bloody fantastic. Old-fashioned telephones a lot. Eh? Told you, folks, absolute treasure trove. Look at these old, eh? old weighing scales and everything. He's got that much here. It's absolutely fantastic. I tell you, this is what it's about, eh? I thought I'd do something different, like I said. I'm going to find these um, locations for you. Bring all this local interest to you across the medium that is Facebook. And this is the kind of people I'm looking for. So if you all know folks out there who are happy for me to come, old Beryl from the Black Country, to show their fantastic collections. I mean, you just take a look around, folks. It's absolutely full of stuff. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. The memorabilia here is just out of this world. Now, I bet you I can all remember these, call ya. Aye. The old uh, one-arm bandits. Uh, see this one? I'm fully working. I'm going to have a go. Yeah, watch this now. Aye. You can't beat that sound, can you, folk? Aye. You can't beat that sound. And down the local boozer. I've only, I've only gone and worn... Look at that. Three bells. Three bells. I've only gone and won. <laughs> Me looks in. And again. Two wins on the trot. I tell you, that's took me right back to my childhood, that has. In the old bottle and glass on the Broly Road. Old book pool as it was then. I virtually grew up in that pub I did. It's up the Black Country Museum now, Ed. I'm going in two weeks' time. I shall do you a little piece from that pub. Spent many, many an hour in there in my youth. 
I had these in there. I used to love it. I used to love it. Remember him? Brum? Huh? Remember him? Brum off the telly? I mean, this lot in here, folks, it's absolutely fantastic. You can spend hours in here. Every time you look, there's just something else. And it just takes you back. Now, who was a 70s child? How many on you out there was a 70s child? Eh? Can you remember Sweet? Sweet? The Bay City Rollers? Remember them? Slade? Look at these folks. Look at that. Aye. Look at that. They'd have done your pride, them who'd done that in the 70s. Aye. All the old wet shoes, look at it. Aye. Absolutely fantastic. Aye. An old Michelin Mon here, look yeah. The old Michelin Mon. I tell ya, yeah, it's just amazing in here. Absolutely amazing. You know, this this fellas he's built up this collection over the years. And you know, the memorabilia here, Yako beat it. Yako. Military stuff as well. You know, he's got the uniforms, he's got the guns. It's amazing, folks, it really is. Absolutely amazing in here. I mean, there's, this, this, this bike here is still MOT'd. Can you believe it? Still MOT'd for the road. It's brilliant, eh? Brilliant. Absolutely. I bet many on you can remember these and all. Remember the old pub lamps? Aye, M and B. Fabulous, eh? Fabulous. He's got so much stuff here, it's amazing. Absolutely. Well, I'm gonna go we're gonna go through to the other room now, folks. He's got that much stuff in here though, it's a bit cluttered, so uh, watch your step. Watch your step. Another one arm bandit here. I mean look here. Look at the old rocking off eh? Fabulous eh? It's just amazing what he's got here. Remember them? Who was them? Nah, the ba the bike men wore they? The flower. The flower men wore they? Off the telly. I can't remember. Oh, what, what flower was that now? I'd have to look that up myself. Here, look here. Listen to this then. <laughs> oh, do that, eh? Hey. Takes you back, that poet. Hey, takes you back. Now, this is a strange phenomenon. This is a very strange phenom phenomenon, I must admit. I never thought I'd see Al Hulk Hogan on a penny farthing. Hey, that's a strange you know it. Look at these folks. Hulk Hogan on a penny farthing. I mean, absolutely amazing. I had another bandit here, one arm bandit. Any on you remember uh, your parents or your grandparents having a television like that? Hey. I bet there was only two channels then, were there? If that. Oh, say. More military memorabilia here. Loads on it, eh? He's, he, eh? He's even got the old police handcuffs. Regulation truncheon. Police lamp. The whistles, eh? He's got the police whistles. And that is an authentic policeman's bike as well. At the back there. And as you can see, aye, let's be having you, aye, let's be having you. Amazing, eh? Absolutely amazing. You know, it's very kind of this gentleman to let me come here today and have a look through his stuff. But like I said, we're keeping him, you know, keeping him anonymous. We don't want him targeted in any way, shape or form. Look at this, he's even got a Sinclair C5, aye? Got one of them in here and all. Tandem here. Tandem bike. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic, you know. He's got more in other in other sheds and buildings. He's got more stuff. But obviously, we're just concentrating on what's in here. Totally fantastic, folks. You know, what he's got. It's amazing. So, any road. Oh, did I show you these? The minstrels. Look at these here. Hi. We're singing here, look ya. Absolutely fantastic, eh? It's amazing. Well, as I said, I hope you have enjoyed it. This is my first roving report. And uh, the first of many, I hope. Like I said, next... Hey, roll! What? What's oh, that? Margaret's on the phone again! Hello, Isa. Go 
Christ all. almighty, how much I could her do without a bloody spot of milk for it, eh? Half hour. Come bloody on, I've got to go to bed. Oh, I'm, I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> See, black country folk, okay, and I'm sitting the roads. They am, I'm sitting the bloody roads, they am. I've got to go down the bloody one stop now, eh? I'll get her some bloody milk on the way home. But like as I says, two weeks time, I shall be reporting from the Black Country Museum. So I hope you'll join me then. This is an experiment. If you like this kind of thing, we'll do more. Okay? But uh, for now, any rate, like as I said, our Margaret needs a bloody milk dower. So I'll be bidding you farewell from this veritable Aladdin's cave in the heart of the Black Country. All right, folks? See you soon. <laughs>